Hello guys, right, I've really got to show you how shit this kingdom we are in is. Kingdom 269, Clash of Kings. Okay, so there's there's my P5, 20 and a half million power, not doing too bad. So let's go out of this king. Okay, so we can see the kingdom. As you can see, whatever. Yeah, my hive is split up. Okay, this was our main hive. We've had to leave it because we were just constant attacks by Chinese. Irritating Chinese. Now, I've got loads of Chinese friends, but I'm talking about the Chinese in this kingdom. Not all of them. There's a very small handful that are right. And I say very small. I'm talking five tops. The rest is riddled with these arseholes. So let's, let's have a look. So that's where I am. Okay, so let's go over to here here we go cts stands for complete total shits i think so they are just they're prestige castles just non-stop all these are botted farms they're run by bots all of these they're all farms run by bots and they've got like we're talking g's of rs in them resources yeah look another p5 Another prestige castle. Look, look at all this. It's ridiculous, okay? So let's have a look at their power. Alliance. A billion power, okay? A billion. With only 81 members, a billion power, right? Okay, let's go and have a look at their, their buddies. Now, their buddies, these are, are, are primarily farmers. But they, they give it large just as much because they're right next to them. Let me just try and find them. Right, let's CTS. Let's find KSY. Up here. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, look, more of them. Farms. Botted farms. Here we go. KSY. KSY. Chinese as well. They're right next to them. So they suck each other off. Let's look at their alliance. And they're 770 million. Let's have a look at the alliance power rankings. Alliance. There we go. Billion. 770. And there's my alliance, TEU. 285 million. The rest are all Chinese. Everyone else in this kingdom is Chinese. Everyone. Every single... I say foreigner because that's what we all are now to this kingdom. We're all foreigners have been driven out by CTS and it's one member. One member is the cause of it all of CTS. I'm gonna show you this member. He's the biggest arsehole I've ever come across. Okay, now we moved hives down to this lower one. The lower one here at the bottom. No. Nope. This one here at the bottom. He finds out, the first thing he does is Fair play to him, he's an arsehole. He drops a fort down, then he drops another fort down, and now he's building the forts right there, just to irritate us. They're farm forts. This is him, his name is Teng, and he really is the biggest prick on this kingdom. Let's have a look at his power. 40 million power, he has, Okay, in literally no time, he's jumped 20 million, which means he has spent stupid amounts of money. This guy is on this game non-stop. He has no life. He is the biggest loser I've ever known. I'm not in here all the time because I, I've got job, I've got life, I've got things I need to do. This loser is on here non-stop. And everybody in his alliance, CTS and KSY, all suck this guy's dick. He really is the biggest wanker going. Never known anybody like him. And all he does is he, he's just desperate to hit me. He wants my shield go so he can hit me. This is the only thing that's gonna get this poor little Chinaman's dick hard is hitting me. It's ridiculous. So I'm gonna say this, if there's anybody in Clash of Kings who's I don't know, top of their game in their own kingdom, and they fancy coming to 269, 
to kick some Chinese ass and to show some of these assholes up, you are very welcome. If you want to come, if you've got loads of money and you don't mind splashing a bit in this kingdom and kicking the shit out of some of these, especially this guy, this absolute tosser's ass, you'd be you'd be massively welcomed, massively. I mean, we're all a good bunch. We're Americans, English mainly American English, you know, and European, and we're just battered daily. We literally have to live under shields. We can't do anything. You know, you've got Daydreams on here who does videos all the time. He's always saying it to little people. I've messaged the guy so many times. He doesn't even respond to me. Doesn't even respond. So I, I'm, I'm not even interested. So, so there you go. I know there's loads of you that got the same sort of problems in your kingdoms, but Kingdom 269 is now just an absolute joke. We are waiting for Clash of Kings to stop being arseholes and to enable Kingdom Jump or Merge. Just allow it. You was going to allow it. Kingdom Jump in, a kingdom over six months old. Just do it. Allow it. Stop worrying about the fact that you're going to lose money or you're not getting a much... Stop being skanks and do the Kingdom Merge or Kingdom Jump. If you're going to do Kingdom Merge, do at least five kingdoms together. Don't just do one, because you'll just do, you'll just choose two Chinese kingdoms, and oh, it'd be ridiculous. Five big kingdoms, merge them into one. Or Kingdom Jumping. Do something. Stop with the gimmicks of all the heroes and all the things that literally means we have to spend even more money. It's a joke. You've got enough money as it is. Start giving the players something back. Start giving the players what they want. It's a joke. Yeah, so if anybody wants to come to 269, you know, and be a saviour and help us for these fucking idiots, it'd be fantastic. If not, never mind, we'll just keep going. But, you know, it is what it is. Thank you very much for watching my little video. See you later, guys. Thanks. Bye.